Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So sorry it's been a while. If you follow me on Instagram and you keep up with my Insta stories, then you'll know that I've been having some work done on my house and there's been workmen in and out and there's drills and dust everywhere and it's just been impossible to film or do any voiceovers. So this particular video has been sitting in my Final Cut Pro editing for about a month and I've just not had the chance to record a voiceover. So that's what I'm doing right now for you. So I had this idea in my head for ages and I'm so glad that I did get around to recording it at last and it's basically a rainbow gradient of Swarovski crystals. So I get all mine from Crystal Parade and I will leave all their details in the description box below. I do also have a 10% discount code if you wanted to use that on any of your orders and they just do a massive massive selection so as I say I've used all Swarovski crystals in this set so what I'll do I'll go through all the colours and then I'll get on to the actual application. So I'm going to show you all the ones that I use and I'll put the names in the bottom right hand corner. And the sizes that I used were SS7 and SS5s, so I've done a little mixture of each colour. So to get the full rainbow gradient effect, I have done a rainbow gradient with gel polish and these are from the gel bottle and I'll link the colours in the description box below. But to really make the crystals stand out, I've also used glitter underneath as a base. So this is going to give a really nice sparkly finish. So those are all the names of the glitters I've used on the screen there and they're all from Magpie Beauty. And then I'm just going to add them to the cured gel in a rainbow gradient fashion. So I did just seal that glitter in with one very thin layer of top coat and cured that and I've just got a little bit of footage from outside as well. So on to the crystal application, I'm just going to use a 150 grit buffer. This is very smooth and it's just going to take the shine off of the top coat. So. The crystals will adhere better so here I've got my colors lined up so I've got the light rose the rose and the tangerine and I'm using the gel bottle rubber top coat because for me this is a fail-safe way of applying crystals but you can use whatever is your preferred method 
so when I'm doing it I just use one thin coat leave it wet and then apply the crystals into the wet gel curing it afterwards and to get that really nice transition I'm going to use the light rose going to the rose and then going to the tangerine and then just stagger the crystals so I get a nice blend and transition of colour. So this is what the thumb looks like and it's so sparkly and it's actually not too raised up so totally wearable. So I'll finish the rest of the colours and then I'll meet you back at the end. So these are the finished nails and I did just finish off with a little bit more rubber top coat in and around the stones just with a fine detail brush just to make sure those crystals are going to stay where you want them to and these are so bright and sparkly and fun. These would be amazing in the sunshine, maybe you've got a summer holiday coming up and even like on toes with these would look amazing as well so i do believe that crystal parade are going to be coming up with some sort of rainbow pack that you would be able to create this look with just one pack of crystals that they're going to put together so i will keep you posted that uh maybe follow me on my instagram because i'll post it on there as soon as that becomes live or i will put it in the description box below as well so thank you so much for watching guys as always and i shall see you in the next one bye